The Story of the Deluge and How It Came About by Joel Chandler Harris One time, said Uncle Remus, adjusting his spectacles so as to be able to see how to thread a large darning needle, with which he was patching his coat. One time, way back yonder, for you was born, honey, and for Mars John or Miss Sally was born, way back yonder, for any on us was born, the animals and the creatures, sort of lectioneer round among themselves. Twelve at last, they agreed for to have assembly. In them days, continued the old man, observing a look of incredulity on the little boy's face. In them days, creatures had lots more sense than they got now, let alone that they had sense some like folks. It was tech and go with em too, mon, when one day makes up their minds it what had to be done. Twant more'n a minute for it was done. Well, they elected that day had a holler or assembly for to sort of straighten out matters and hear the complaints. And when the day come, they was on hand. The lion, he was there, case he was the king, and he had to be there. The rhinoceros, he was there, and the elephant, he was there. And the camels and the cows and plum down to their crawfishes, they was there, they was all there. And when the lion shook his mane, he took his seat in the big chair. Then the session begun for to commence. What did they do, Uncle Remus? asked the little boy. I can't exactly call to mind exactly what they did do, but they spoke speeches and hollered, and cussed, and flung their language round just like when your daddy was going to run for the legislature and got left. Howsomever, they ranged their fares and explained their business. While they was sputtin' longer one another, the elephant trampled on one or the crawfishes. Cause when that creature put his foot down, Whatsomever under there was bound for to be squashed. And they won't nuffer that crawfish left for to tell that he'd been there. This makes the other crawfishes mighty mad, and they sort of swarmed together and drawed up a kind of preamble with some wherefores in it and read her in the assembly. But, bless gracious, such a racket was a goin' on that nobody ain't hear it, except maybe the mud turtle and the spring lizard, and their influence was powerful lacking. By and by, while the nanicorn was sputtin' with the lion, and while the hyena was a laughin' to himself, the elephant squashed another one of their crawfishes in a little moan, He'd a ruined a mud turtle. Then the crawfishes, what they was left of em, swarmed together and drawed up another preamble with the more wayfores. But they might as well have sung old Dan Tucker in a hurricane. The other creatures was too busy with their fussin' for to spawn unto the crawfishes. So dire they was, the crawfishes, and they don't know what minute was going to be the next. And they kept on getting madder and madder, and scareder and scareder. Twelve by and by, they gunned the winter mud turtle and the spring lizard. And then they both little holes in the ground and went down out of sight. Who did Uncle Remus? asked the little boy. The crawfishes, honey. They bored into the ground and kept on boring till they unloosed the fountains of the youth. And the water squirt out and rise higher and higher till the hills was kivered. And the creatures was all drowned, and all because they let on among themselves that they was bigger than the crawfishes. 
Then the old man blew the ashes from a smoking yam and proceeded to remove the peeling. Where was the ark, Uncle Remus? The little boy inquired presently. Which ark that? asked the old man in a tone of well-feigned curiosity. Noah's ark, replied the child. Don't you pester with old man Noah, honey. I bound he took care of that dark. That's what he was dar for, and that's what he done. This way is that way they tells me, but don't you bother longer that ark, exceptin your mammy fetches it up. There might have been two deluges, and then again they mightn't. If they was any ark in this year what the crawfishes brung on, I ain't seen tell on it, and when they ain't no arks round, I ain't got no time for to make em up, put em in dar. It's getting your bedtime, honey. This has been the story of the deluge and how it came about by Joel Chandler Harris. Production copyright 2020 by Mike Vendetti.